What's up my producer friends, I'm David with AnotherMonsterProductions.com. If you're new to the channel, I do do a lot of FL Studio and production related tutorials. Specifically, I do a lot of sound design type tutorials and I've been doing a lot of Citrus tutorials recently. Last week I did a tutorial on Citrus where I talked about how I like to approach making bass sounds from scratch, but I did get a very specific request to make a growl based tutorial, specifically a sound that Brooks showed in one of his master classes where he's going over his track with GRX called Boomerang. And one of the layers that he uses in the track is kind of a growl bass that he made in Citrus. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a similar sound to that uh, and just how to make growl basses or dubstep sounds in general. So this is what we're going to be making today. Let's go ahead and take a listen. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right. So the first thing that I want to do when I have my Citrus loaded up is go up here to your plugin options, go to presets and we're going to go ahead and go to default, which is gonna get us an initialized preset, which is just a sine wave. It's gonna sound like this. Cool, so let's go ahead and make sure we're in our main tab, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring the pitch down all the way, negative 24 semitones, which is bringing it down two octaves. Uh, so now it should sound like this. If I play the same note, it's a sub bass, and you can actually see that if I go into my operator one, it's the sine wave shape here. So this is the only thing that we have playing so far. Now over here in our matrix tab, the way this is currently set up is operator one is playing and then it's going out of the output here. And I can go ahead and bring in a little bit of effects, which by default is the chorus effect. So that's gonna make it have multiple voices or it's gonna be an effect of having multiple voices. It's gonna make it sound like that. You can kind of hear how it fluctuates in and out. That's because of some of the phase cancellation because of creating those multiple voices. So that's good. We definitely want that to kind of spread out the sound a little bit. It's gonna make it sound wider as we create this bass sound. Now, the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and do some FMing within the matrix. So I'm gonna FM operator one by operator two. So I can go ahead and bring this up. Let's hear what that sounds like. And now, while I'm still inside my operator one, I can go into my mod tab. I can go into my mod X and I can go ahead and bring this all the way down. So what that's doing is when I go back into my main tab, if I bring my X parameter on the axis all the way to zero, then this would be basically back in the off position. And then when I bring it all the way up, then it's gonna be all the way up to 100% there. So let's, let's listen to what that sounds like. Okay, cool. So I can automate this and go ahead and start creating sort of that wub sound, if you will. So I'm just gonna play a note here. We'll try here. I'm gonna go into my playlist and I'm just gonna do these notes like this. I'll go ahead and highlight this and we can create an automation clip right here on our X. So now we have an automation clip here. Let me zoom in here and I can just go ahead and create a shape. Let's do something more like, I'll bring this here, kind of go like. Who cares? I mean, this doesn't really matter. You can obviously spend some time, come up with a pattern and completely shape your own unique sounds here. I'm just trying to do something for the sake of this tutorial. So let's go ahead and go back into Citrus. Now I can go into my operator two and I can experiment with different wave shapes if I want to. Let's try bringing this up to like a triangle wave. That sounds actually pretty cool. I'm gonna leave it on the triangle wave for now. And we can always come back later and experiment with different wave shapes here. So the next thing that I want to do is go into my oscillator section here and we can actually draw in some waveforms or some, some harmonics rather uh, and to change the waveform that we currently have. So this is the waveform that we have now. It kind of gives you a visual and uh, it shows you like where in the phase it's starting and, and this is basically your triangle wave. Uh, but I can, add a, I can add like a shape here, bring that up maybe halfway. And I mean, you can automatically, like just right off the bat, it makes it sound completely different. So this is original. And then bring that up. 
we could add more. But I'm just going to leave one for now. Uh, and then I can come back here a little bit and kind of add a little bit of high end. Give it more growl. More like aggressive aggression. You know, let me let me experiment with this a little bit. So let me try adding this here. And then adding these around here. Yeah, I, th I think I like that a little bit better. It's more of a deeper growl. So you can take your time with this and really experiment with different techniques, different shapes. Uh, I mean, you could try bringing this up more and hearing all the different things that that it creates. Anyway, that's pretty good. Uh, we'll leave that there and then we can just keep FMing. So now I can try FMing it by the third oscillator. Kind of like that. That sounds pretty good. And by the way, just so you can hear what this would sound like without effects. And I'm bringing this up to about 60% here, the effects. You can hear it kind of makes it sound quite a bit wider. Another thing you can do here is you can go ahead and go into a new operator. So right now we're on four. Um, I can go into my four operator and I can go ahead and bring out operator four. I don't know if I want to bring it out all the way. Let's try, let's try about 70% for now. Just see what this sounds like. And then we can experiment with this row of FMing. And this is just adding an extra operator. So if I bring this up, so about 60%. And then you can hear how that's holding out the whole time because I haven't actually linked it to the mod. Uh, so if I go back into my mod X, I can link this and I could maybe not go all the way down this time. So maybe leave it right around there. So you can kind of hear the difference there. It's holding out. It's giving a little bit extra harmonics on the bottom there. Here, I'll take this off so you can hear. So I kind of like that. Um, we could just keep doing this. So here, I've actually, let me, I, I've got an idea. So I want to make this sound even grittier and add some extra high harmonics on it. So in my operator five, I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to my oscillator once again, and I'm going to add some um, like super highs up in this area. And then we can try it here too. See how far. I think I want to even go higher. Let's try up here. Anyway, feel free to experiment with that and mess around. Let me let me try this. Anyway, there's so many different things you can mess around with in this synth and you could just spend hours just playing around with this, but that's pretty much the basics of it. From there, you can go ahead and go into your mixer and do some more processing on it. I'd recommend experimenting with some OTT, maybe try adding some distortion, maybe try adding some more chorus effect, maybe try adding some uh, more dimension expansion type effects, so stereo shaper or something like that. Another thing you could potentially do inside Citrus is 
use the Y mod as well so that you can have two simultaneous uh, modulations going on at the same time. So right now I'm only utilizing the X mod. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, be sure to go ahead and hit the like button that helps out the YouTube algorithm, helps me continue to grow the channel. If you're brand new to sound design and this video was kind of confusing for you, I did do a video a while ago where uh, it's sort of an introduction to synthesis and sound design. So I'll be sure to leave something on the screen now if you guys want to check that out. I've also got a bunch of other Citrus tutorials on the channel and I've got a Discord server where I'm doing Q and A's every Sunday and that's at 1 p.m. Eastern time zone. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description if you guys want to join the Discord and I will see you in the next video.